Hello everyone. Thank you for watching this uh, new Facebook Live on our uh, Facebook page here at Smart Suspensions. We're happy to welcome you in our shop for uh, this presentation today for our uh, uh, Mac Tour Pro equipped with our AMS 40T2 with a twin steer. It's always a pleasure for us to show you uh, what we can do here at Samard. Uh, it's also another thing that we do with the other video we did in the past for other make and suspensions we install. Uh, during the whole Facebook Live, if you want to ask questions or if you have any interrogation as to what we do, or what we present today, or anything about Samard, feel free to uh, write them in the comment section below. We'll be pleased to answer them either live or with a, an answer directly uh, to your comment written there. So again, thank you very much for watching. It's always a pleasure to get to get you here uh, to watch what we do here. So today we take a look at the uh, Mac Tour Pro with, equipped with an AMS 40T2, so with our common twin steer suspension that we do here at, at SMR. This is our flagship product that we do, that we've done for a long time. We've optimized uh, throughout times. So this truck is a Mac Tour Pro from uh, Drown Truck Center back in Ontario. Uh, it'll be equipped with a Lieber uh, uh, mounted uh, uh, and mounted pump for uh, from Lieber with a 40.2 meter vertical reach. So this articulated mounted pump is going to be uh, installed back in the U.S. So again, this is also thank we want to thank these two partners of us. Uh, for their collaboration in allowing us to present this truck today. So thank you again, Drum Truck Setter and, and Lieber for your collaboration in this. It's always a pleasure to do business with you. So let's have a look. So again, this truck uh, came with uh, came to us uh, as you did. There are no pump for the moment uh, on it, but we can have a look as to how it came in the, um, in the shop and how we modified it uh, throughout the different process. So our twin steer suspension, uh, I will call it the AMS 40T2. This is a real name, but this is a twin steer. So the regular twin steer, as you know it, is the suspension installed on this one. So the first thing we did, we did on this truck was to relocate different elements on the chassis because we have to leave some room for our, uh, for this, for this, for the, for the for our suspension on this unit. So it's a 74 uh, inches front spread. So in order, to, in order to leave some room here, we have to relocate things in the back, so behind our, behind our second steer axles. So we removed, first of all, or relocated the def tank and then fuel tank. Again, this is something that we can easily do. Most of the different equipment on the chassis can be moved around. Again, ask us, and then this is with our collaboration with the dealers, uh, the OEMs, and the um, installator of these different equipments that we can find the best position for you in order to uh, do an upfront planning. Be sure to, that there's an upstream planning of the of the truck, of the suspension, and what's going to be on the top of it. So that way, everybody works together uh, in order to make these venture uh, uh, a success for all of us. So def and fuel tank were moved back. Uh, we might see them later on, but on the other side, we have the battery box, air dryer, and uh, fuel filter. So all of them were moved back in order to leave some room for AMS 40T2. So once this is done, we have, again, this is not installed at the beginning. Uh, we installed it later on. And then we start with the installation of the suspension in itself. So the AMS 40T2, the twin steer, as we know it, is, uh, is it has, as you can see it, an equalizer in, in between the, fir the first and second axle in order to balance the load. So the load is balanced equally between the first and the second axle. So that way, it allows uh, better uh, stability for the truck. Uh, tire use is always equal in between the first and second axle. So there are no difference in, in between the two when you work with these kind of suspensions. So again, load equal e is equal in between both of these axles. So that way it's much, it's much, much more stable on the ground, especially in curves. For example, if you turn around and you're in slippery conditions, this is always better to have these kinds of get up to be sure that you are stable on the road. So we can have a look over here. Maybe you can just have some uh, quick look at the, at the, at the, at the suspension. 74 inches front spread suspensions. Equalizer with, um, the, again, attached the, to, the, uh, dip to the, the springs on the first and second and first axle. Again, one of the, the perks of this suspension, maybe we can have a look at the other side. One of the perks of the AMS 40T2, of the twin steer, is to have an easy access 
to the suspension from, from under it from, or from the side. So you don't have to dismantle or unmount the whole thing. You can access easily to this suspension on the side. In this case, this Terra Pro doesn't have any equipment or uh, tanks on the side. It might be possible for a lot larger spread in some cases, but in this case, this is free. So, but if this is the case, for example, if you have a DPF, uh, a fuel tank, a battery box that is in the way, sometimes to make some repairs or change some parts, you have to take it off, mount, mount it back or, take, or just unplug it. So this takes some time, some costs also. But in this case, it's all free. So you can move around and be sure to take off some of these different bolts, bushing, pins, uh, even tire dance if you need to change them. So it's easily accessible and can be easily taken off or mounted back together without any uh, problems to do this. So we can also have a look underneath, just have a look as to what it looks like from under the truck. So the twin steer, as I said, is a, is a suspension is a sp suspension that is that is normal or quite common in what we do. Uh, we optimized it with standard uh, components, easily accessible in the markets, apart, of course, from the mechanically welded components we use for the suspension. Normally, again, for the hull, the chocks, uh, tire dents, uh, pins, bushing, all of these, it's easily accessible or findable on the market. So if you need to make some change, repair these parts, change them, you can find them easily. So we make, uh, we make a point as to keeping them simple and being able to access them on the market. So now we're under it, under the Terra Pro. This truck has a Hallison uh, transmission that we, we can see here, but we can have a look at to the, uh, the suspension itself with the equalizer underneath. So we can see again, all these pins and bushing that can be replaced or taken off in order to uh, make some repairs and have it easily accessible. And, and you can make these, uh, be, uh, have access easily to your suspension and be able to repair it in these or make, make those maintenance. So again, we had to work also on this truck with the uh, a cooling system. So the cooling system that we see over here of, of the Allison, again, this is something that we, we always have to prepare for and be sure to counsel, advise the client uh, accordingly to be sure that we have the right spread. So 74 inches spread in this case was kind of the minimum. There are some loose, Space, but just to be certain, we we advise it to go with this this front spread to um, to make the uh, the truck works uh, works well. So again, you have an idea as to what we did over here on these on these different parts, either equalizer and all. That gives you a good idea as to what we do here. This truck is ready, by the way. And should be going soon to the US. So we'll take, we might come out of the year. I don't know if my colleague Antoine is uh, having some questions for us. Again, I ask you if you need any time, if you want to ask some questions as to what the, uh, what the suspension is about, if you want to know more about the twin steer, what the AMS 40T2 does, what are the perks of it? Again, feel free to uh, post your question in the comment section. It's always a pleasure to uh, to answer them and be sure to uh, have you know more about our products. Again, this is the, the AMS 40T2 installed on the Mac Terra Pro uh, from uh, Durham Truck Center. It'll have a lever pump, a concrete pump installed on it. And uh, again, the for the suspension itself, again, the two steer axles work together. This is always an advantage. This is always a perk because that way all of the two axle works together. Now, also some point about the turning radius. We heard a lot about the turning radius and the, uh, the importance on these vocational trucks. This is key to what we do and what you do. So we always make a point of having the best turning radius for the truck. So we try to keep it as best as possible, uh, uh, keep it as, uh, to increase it or even keep it as is on these trucks. Was there a question? I don't yes. Know. Yes. Is, this, is uh, the first axle the same as the second axle? Yes. So the question is, is the first axle the same as the second axle? So yes, we always try to match first axle with second axle. In some cases, there are some twin steer provisions from factory. It is the case 
uh, for Mac in some in some cases, not always, but in some cases this, they are the one providing axle wheels and tires. So we always the, in these cases they, they match uh, all the times. But if you ask us to counsel you, we always ask and uh, advise to install the first the same axle wheels and tires uh, that are the same than the first axle. So that we match them both together and they work together accordingly. Back to the turning radius. With having these two uh, axles uh, being similar, it's always better to, uh, it's always uh, easier to align them together because in this case, they are not the same. It might be complicated. So we try to match them one first axle with steer axles and maximize the turning radius on each side once we install our suspension. The turning radius, uh, there's a, might be a misconception about the twin steer and the effect that it might have on the turning radius. Uh, it, the turning radius is always uh, uh, influenced by the wheelbase, most of all. So the longer the truck, the, the larger the turning radius. So to add a second steer axle, normally it doesn't impair the turning radius of a truck. So to add, the, add this one, if the work is done well with the stopper, puppets and all, it can, we can have the best turning radius on the market with the add of the AMS 40T2, so with the Samar twin steer. New frame. Yeah, we did something else on this truck because this is another of the um, thing we can do here at Samar. We had to lengthen the wheelbase of the truck. So the two drive axles were not here originally, they were closer on this end. So we moved, we moved them back a little. So we at Samar are able to do this kind of thing to lengthen the wheelbase or shorten them, lengthen also frame rails. So to keep, to make so for bigger project, larger project, like the Mac Terra Pro is a good example in this case, it is a, it is a, it's a standard uh, configuration, but in some cases it can be much longer. We can lengthen much more for different configurations uh, 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 for the for the clients. So in this case, this is a 240 something, 242 wheelbase originally, and we put it at 253. So to uh, to make it compliant for the the demand of the client. So that's one of the things we can do. So again move things around. We can move these battery box, def tank, fuel tank, different places, depending as to optimize the, the collaboration and the installment of the equipment on the truck. Move these drive axles around if they need to be shortened or uh, lengthen the wheelbase. And the installation, of course, of the twin steer suspension to make it more stable, more safer also. Because if you have always two uh, two steer axles on the ground working together we commit with a mechanical link it's safer so in slippery conditions for example in snow uh, in ice in rain it's always better to have these two axles working together especially in curves so the, this mechanical link in between the two and the fact that they're both on the grounds working uh, simultaneously it allows for better safety for the driver that are in these, uh, in these machines so again, this is, uh, this is a venture we did quite recently. This truck is supposed to leave uh, very soon. So this one is equipped with our AMS 40T2 twin steer suspension on this Mac Terra Pro from Durham Truck Center. Um, and with, it'll have a, 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 pump, a concrete pump from Beaver on it. Any other questions on this? Not at the moment. Would it be a good time to start the truck or have the wheels turn? So let's have a look. So I will. I will uh, stop talking because I'll start the engine. I'll make some turnaround, just a turn, just to show you the, the angle that the, roof, the, the, the wheels will go, and we might come back later on. So it should be long.
No, that's about it. I don't know if we have any other questions about this. So again, I will uh, thank you very much for your attention and your presence today on this Facebook Live about uh, the presentation of the Mac Terra Pro from the Ram Truck Center. Uh, it will have a pump on the lever on it. It is our twin steer suspension, so the AMS 40T2 in it. Uh, if you have any questions, again, feel free to post them in the comment section. We'll be pleased to answer them later on. And again, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.